In today's video, we will be discussing about arithmetic sequence. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Let us first define some terms that is very useful to better understand our topic. Number 1. A sequence is a function whose domain is the finite, or the infinite set. When we say finite set, it is a set with exact number of elements. While infinite set contains unlimited number of elements. Number 2. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. The formula we will be using to solve problems involving arithmetic sequences. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus D multiplied to quantity n minus 1. Where A sub n is the unknown term. A sub 1 is the first term of the sequence. n is the position of the unknown term and D is the common difference. How to solve problems involving arithmetic sequence. Number 1. Determine the first term of the sequence. The first element would be the first term of our sequence. In our given set, 5 is the first term. Number 2. Find the common difference. To find the common difference in problems involving arithmetic sequence, all we have to do is find the difference of two consecutive terms in our set. Lastly, find the position of the unknown term. The position of the unknown term is given in the question or can be found on the given set. Now, let us try to solve problems that involve arithmetic sequence. Sample problem number one. I was advised by my physician to walk each day in the morning as my daily exercise. On my first day, I walked 40 meters. On the second and third day, I walked 60 meters and 80 meters, respectively, and so on. What is the distance I walked on the 10th day if I continue the pattern in my daily walk? Now, let us create a set, based on the given. We have 40 meters for the first day, 60 meters on the second day, then, 80 meters on the third day, and so on. It was asked what would be the measurement of the distance he would walk on the 10th day. Therefore, the value of our n is equal to 10. Next, the value of our first term is 40 since it was his first data when he started his daily walk. Then, we find the difference of two consecutive terms to find the value of our common difference. 80 minus 60. We have 20 as our common difference. Now, we will use the formula for arithmetic sequence and substitute the known terms. We solve. Therefore, on the 10th day, he will have a distance of 210 meters. Problem number 2. During a free fall, a skydiver jumps 16 feet, 48 feet, and 60 feet on the first, second, and third fall, respectively. If he continues to jump at this pattern, how many feet will he have jumped during the 10th fall? First, let us create our set. Second, we determine the value of the first term, which is 16. Third, we find the difference of two consecutive terms to find the common difference. 32 is the value of our d. Then, the value of our n is equal to 10, since we are asked what would be the distance on the skydiver's fall on the 10th fall. Now, we will use the formula for arithmetic sequence and substitute the known terms. We solve. Therefore, on the 10th fall of the skydiver, he reached a total distance of 304 feet. Problem number 3. Find the fifth term of the sequence if A, 
sub 15 is equal to 29, and a sub 27 is equal to 47. To solve this problem, first, we will try to create equations for a sub 15 and a sub 27. For a sub 15 we have n is equal to 15, and a sub 15 is equal to 29. We have 29 equal to a sub 1 plus 14d. This will be our equation 1. For a sub 27 we have n is equal to 27 and a sub 27 is equal to 47. We have 47 is equal to a sub 1 plus 26d. And this will be our equation 2. Second, we find d by subtracting equation 2 by equation 1. Forty-seven minus twenty-nine is equal to eighteen. A sub one minus a sub one is zero. Twenty-six d minus fourteen d is equal to twelve d. To remove the number twelve besides d, we divide both sides by twelve. Now we have the value of d, which is three halves. Third, we find the value of a, sub 1 by substituting the value of d to either equation 1 or equation 2. By substituting the value of d to equation 1, we have. Now, we solve. We will remove 21 by subtracting 21 to both sides to find the value of a, sub 1. Final answer is a, sub 1 is equal to 8. Now we will solve the value of a, sub 5. The value of a sub 1 is 8 and the value of d is 3 halves we solve a sub 5 is equal to 14. i hope that you learned something from our lesson remember you can always replay this video for the enhancement of your learning thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and click the like button Till the next lesson.